I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we are going to explore Luca sequence. The Luca sequence is defined by the recursive formula t1 equals to 1, t2 equals to 3, tn equals to tn minus 1 plus tn minus 2, that is sum of previous two terms, where n belongs to natural numbers and n is greater than 2. Write the first 10 terms of the sequence, calculate the ratios of consecutive terms. I'd like you to pause the video, do the calculations, and then check with my suggestions. Now, let's write down first the terms. We need to write 10 terms, so I'll write 5 on this side and 5 on the other side. Okay, so let's say these are the terms for us. We already know that T1 is 1 and T2 is 3 for us. T formula is Tn equals to Tn minus 1 plus Tn minus 2. Just as we have Fibonacci series, same formula we have, except for the terms are different. T1 is 1, T2 instead of 1 it is 3. Okay, So how do you get the other terms? We get the other terms by adding previous two terms. That is what the formula is. So 3 plus 1 is 4. So T4 will be 4 plus 3 which is 7. T5 will be 7 plus 4. 11 let me write t6 here 11 plus 7 will give me 18 right so let's write down t7 here 7 will be 18 plus 11 which is 9 29 t8 will be 29 plus 18 and that is 47 T9 will be 47 plus 29, that is 76, and T10 will be 76 plus 47 equals to 123. Let me write T11 and 12 also. 123 plus 76 equals to 199, and let me write T12 also here. 199 plus 123. We kind of extended the list, okay. Now, that is the first part, writing down 10 terms, we wrote 12, anyway. Now let us find the second part, which is calculate ratios of consecutive terms. It means we'll calculate Tn divided by Tn minus 1, right? So, let me use a different ink, it will be better, I think. So what we can do is, now we'll write 3 divided by 1 equals 2, then we'll say 4 divided by 3. 7 divided by 4, 11 divided by 7, 18 divided by 11, right? So we'll use calculator to calculate all these values. And here uh, we will do 29 divided by 18, 47 divided by 29, 76 divided by 47, 123 divided by 76, 199 divided by 123 and then we'll do 322 divided by 199 correct calculate these values so i'll do some values and uh, what you can do is you can fill up by calculating the other values right so of course 3 divided by 1 is 1 so we'll do 4 divided by 3 equals to in decimals we'll write 1.3 We'll skip few. We'll do 18 divided by 11 equals to 1.63. Right? You can fill up all other values. 47 divided by 29 equals to in decimals 1.6206, and then we have 76 divided by 47, which is again equal to 1.6170. 123 divided by 76 so what we see is that these values are approaching uh, the golden ratio right so so that is 1.618 and 199 divided by 123 equals to 1.6178 322 divided by 199 equals to in decimals 1.61809 do you see that so what we really found in Fibonacci series also 
that the ratio was approaching 1.618 right so this ratio approaches 1.618 and we also found the golden ratio phi and its value was 1.618033 something like that right so anyway to three decimal places is kind of same value right so what we notice from here that the ratio of consecutive terms for these series is kind of same 1.618 to the third place correct so that is a good interesting observation i hope that helps thank you